all my dead homies. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. So we're on our way. Oh wait, first of all, good morning. Jonathan's still sleeping. Um, we're on our way to Landmark right now. I'm so excited! I feel like... I'm most excited because I don't know what we're walking into, you know? Like, I love the unknown. I love the unknown. It's an adrenaline rush. So, I'll take you in so you can see what it looks like. Love you guys. Can I put my backpack down? I would have put your camera there. Someone likes to. No, my backpack. Hey, just anywhere. 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 We don't have any kind of problem. If we do have a confidentiality policy. Okay. So I just wanted to make sure that you're not. Oh, okay. 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 Thanks. So we're on our first break right now. And our homework on this break is to get to know three people here. And then when we get back, we're not allowed to sit next to each other. I know. So, so I have sad. I have to <laughs> I have to move. Oh man, I can't sit next to you. That I started a new subscription. Actually, it's my first subscription, and it's by the company Splendies. You get three pairs of underwears once a month for thirteen nine and nine. So it comes in this green bag. I pick large, so I hope large fits. But these are the first pair, super cute. I'm gonna see if it's too big or not. I mean, this little area right there, like what is this? That looks pretty big. <sighs> these are definitely period underwears, which I like. They seem very thin too, which is cool because they seem super comfortable. It's pretty. And then these are like kind of like booty shorts-ish. Yeah, I think Victoria's Secret does the five for 25, which is five dollars per underwear and those are pretty much the same you know but I get mine cheaper for 460 and I get that shit delivered so I think it's actually a really good deal um, and they're super cute so yeah I thought I'd share that with you um, I'm gonna go to bed now it's time for bed tomorrow is my big day I mean maybe not my big day but we finished the landmark forum that was three days long and tomorrow Tuesday is our last final day where you can bring um, guests so I invited some people. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now, get some rest, and I shall see you tomorrow. So something I really learned to, out of Landmark was that I don't have to be scared of anything. There's no fear in life. There's nothing right here. There's no fear. Fear is like an imaginary thing. And um, that's what I learned. Beautiful. Kids, don't do drugs. This used to be me. This used to be me a week ago. A week ago. Not me no more. Don't do drugs, kids. Okay, hi, I'm uh, Ray Anthony, Ray Anthony Aguilar, and I am Jonathan Ross Aguilar's father. I don't know if you know his name, and uh, I love my son very much, and very proud of him. Okay, now you have to say a confession. God, okay, so there's over 500 people, and um, that's probably the biggest confession I've had today. What is it? <laughs> what would you say? What was it? I don't know, though. I have to rewind the tape and find out. <laughs> okay, right? Come on, boy. What is that, Ray? You want to put it? It's not alcohol. Just touching us. Sorry. I like the times we didn't go to Mexico. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun, huh? And I give them pesos. They give a hundred to get a hundred pesos, which is like a... We are rich out there. We're, we're poor here. <laughs> in Mexico, you're we were so rich. Yeah. I give we're balling out. It looked like ten dollars, but it's actually a dollar. All right, Mexico. Me and Jennifer befriended these two pigs, Wilbur and Charlotte. Is that all you name like it? Charlotte's wife and Wilbur and pig. We befriended them. They're big old humongous pigs. And we became their best friends. And then, uh, I like. Did you feed them? Later, we didn't know. We yeah. walked in. I guess they were. Where did you fed them and you yeah, named them? And yeah. They were our best friends. And then, uh, we, uh, like two days later, I guess they. They're getting them so big and fast so they can eat it. But I don't know, I thought they were pets. And me and Jennifer walked in this room, it's like a slaughterhouse. 
and their two, our two best friends, Rover and Shala, hang up and out with their guts. Stomachs so open, they guts are, they make, they cut it open so they can bleed out. And that's why I don't eat bologna. <laughs> I don't eat any kind of... You don't really? No, I still do not, but I'm gonna stop eating meat. That's good. I'm gonna try it, it's, it's hard, but... Oh, but it tastes so good. I didn't so, eat red meat, but now yeah, I Yeah, but it makes, it makes me feel like... Yeah, it does. It read me. I want to. I want lethargic. energy. I want to feel alive, and you know, I don't feel like. I think putting a dead animal in your living body is kind of. You know, yeah, that's good for you. What's your best memory of Jonathan? Ever. Oh my God! When I fuck if I ever first held him in my arms, he was the most beautiful baby I've seen. I couldn't wait to hold him, and when I held him, he would just. Well, that packing heat. Pink. If I'm packing heat, why aren't you packing heat? <laughs> Put on the bed, you're like, oh yeah, that's my son. Yeah, you had to fucking pull it over the legs, so <laughs> carry it, carry it back. Yeah, but chopping off, they thought it was in village really record, but it was actually... They're like, oh, this baby has three legs. <laughs> Hi guys, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, comment below, and subscribe to the channel because she's beautiful. <laughs> and that's a wrap. I'm going to tell you just one something real quick. Uh, he had a problem with uh, wetting the bed. He was the only one out of all five five of them that I that I raised that had a problem with peeing in the bed. 